thought this would be interesting. We're here in Utica on Bleecker Street, right across from our installation here. This is the APAC building by Bleecker and Genesee. And here's the Varick Street mural. Example number three from the Wonderland landscape series. And there's uh, number five. And I've apparently found takers for both number three and the, the mural. The video portrait is Steve. Part of his mural. We do here for a meeting with the Development Association at 5.30, so I figured I'd stop for a minute and take a look. I haven't seen much of this. I'm looking at uh, the still images of my friend Kathy Bortorf Stockbridge from Flashback Photography in Rome did an excellent photo series of it from the day of the mural event. One of the things that I lost touch of when doing these new versions of it is how I kept the flow of color for the, just the ground pretty much constant through it. And in these new attempts, um, this one in particular, I, I, I wanted to have the wood surface show through. That's just on a piece of particle board plywood. And this one back here, that's actually painted on foam core and I wanted that um, unadorned surface with the city that forms on top of it just sort of looking a little bleak compared to everything surrounding it. That's actually not a bad painting. I haven't seen it for a while. Yeah, this is one of the better ones of the smaller versions that I was doing uh, first to prepare for doing the mural at Funkin' as you know. It's really an important divergent point for me, or point of divergence in, in my artistic forte, my vocabulary as a painter, doing this piece. And one of the things that also works about it is the freshness of, of, of the surface. I literally only had five hours to put it together, and it, it has not been touched since. And I wouldn't touch it even if I could. Look at the way the, the, the branches kind of flutter in that sort of an implied sense of movement that isn't prevalent in this one so much. It is in this. Those are those are kind of fluttering, looking tendril-like. But in most of these, they, 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 they got kind of static. They're just sort of sitting there, poking up into the cloud forms. Or in that one, they're sort of moving. In this one, there's definitely an implication of uh, movement. And, uh, Dang. I painted that. Kind of fun. Matter of fact, it was real fun. So. Ooh, a drone. It was just in time. I tell you, they're everywhere. And we're here in Utica, so that's likely going to Griffiths. All right, off to the meeting. And look, 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 look at how, I don't know if you can see it, but the texture of the surface of this board was actually rippled. Um, and I, I don't know if that was just the way the primer coat was added. I did not add the primer coat, which was just a flat green. 
uh, rider described it as top. Interesting. I wonder how that rippling out there. Unfortunately, I can't get into the building to walk up and look at it. A little soon, I hope. Should have made it. And that's how it looks from across the street. Right on, Mung. Here on uh, Genesee Street. This is really the downtown uh, fulcrum. There's the Radisson, where we had that incredible show in uh, September. I'm not sure what the name of this building is, but here's Tony Thompson's Downtown Utica Development Association installation. And along with artist Ty Marshall, Tony uh, made a sort of site-specific piece. This wasn't just a bunch of paintings that he brought into the space. There's a specific encoded meaning uh, that is directly related to, to the, the space as a whole. And this is the first time I've seen it in its completed condition. Plastic sheeting around the bottom is interesting. I wonder what's up with that. It's just to protect the original surface or an aesthetic element on its own. There's a Project U flyer with information. My name's on there somewhere. And what we're hoping for the next round of due to installations is that these will become more site specific and the artist will be designing the space that's on display rather than just dragging some paintings in. And it looks like Tony needs a new light bulb. We'll get him a budget for it. And you see here, there's just a bunch of paintings. They're nice, and these were done by uh, uh, cerebral palsy patients, I think, using a pointing system. But you can't, you really can't compare that to someone who went all out and designed the whole environment and, and basically uh, constructed it live with passers-by here on Genesee Street, the main downtown uh, thoroughfare in Utica able to see him at it. Art as a process that engages the public as opposed to just pretty pictures. But back to Syracuse with me. Catch you later. Just getting into Syracuse, and what do we got? A drone. What a day.